Oh my God, tears. Uh, oh my God. Ah. You said I want to be a girlfriend. That wasn't really in my plans. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Hugo Valentine Jr. And today we're going to be reacting to Hemlock Springs' new single, Sever the Blight. And I'm very excited because I love all of her other songs. I love Girlfriend. Obviously, Girlfriend was my first introduction. I didn't hear Give Me Your Love until after I was introduced to her. So Girlfriend, I remember I seen it on TikTok and it was very like spread around from her verse obviously secretly i'm aiming for a rhythm taxi so yeah i actually really like that song a lot and i actually love stranger danger even more stranger danger is like such a bop like i have that on repeat all the time and you know i love both of the songs i definitely love them very much and i just realized that my cat has been scratching my curtain i didn't realize that anyways so yeah i'm just excited to see what's in this new one because Ever since Stranger Danger, her quality in the music videos has gone so high. Like, I literally love how her music videos look. Now it looks really high quality and I'm just excited to see what's next because the little thumbnail for this video also looks really high quality. So I'm just wondering what she has in store for us. And the title of the track is very, very smart. Too many words I don't know about. So anyways, I'm just excited to see, see what happens. So without further ado, let's get this started. <gasps> really pretty art in the background of her. <gasps> oh my God, tears, uh, natural tears. Oh, the vocals are so pretty. Oh my God, and the painting, the painting reference. Whoa. <gasps> Choreo? Come on. Oh my god, her going crazy. She looks so good here too. Oh yeah, that's definitely high quality. Oh, that's me. Gluttony, me. That is so me. Icon. Oh, this is really pretty. I'm wondering, oh my gosh. I'm hoping that it progresses throughout the music video. Like the painting gets more and more painted with them both. I love progression scenes in music videos where they change every time they come back. Oh, look at that. Drinking the wine. Oh my gosh, the Dutch angle. Oh God. Not the mess. Oh dear, poisoned. Poor them. Oh, oh my God. Ah, the low frames. Oh, that's fire. That's so cool. Mm. She got defeated. Oh. Oh my God, was that a plot twist? Those two characters were different people the whole time. Oh, not Melanie playing next. Wondering <laughs> from the latches sirens. But yeah, that, that video was so good. Oh my gosh. The quality, of course, like I already knew it, it was gonna be really good quality. Now, I love the outfits very much and I'm wondering what happened at the end there. I'm guessing maybe, you know, obviously she was playing two different characters there. I thought she was the same character the whole time, but it looks like the character she was playing with orange hair might have been the the top person, the royalty higher up above all the others. And, you know, I think maybe after she was killed off, the one in the white gown wound up going to, I don't know, maybe the peasant or something and was saying that she can take her place because maybe the the royalty higher above with the orange hair was evil, maybe. She might have been really sinister and she wound up dueling her to the death to take over the kingdom. And now we have somebody more of purity that's, you know, ruling the whole kingdom. And it the overall music video was so good. It was very artsy. I love all the the paintings in the background, that was really cool. There, there was like animated paintings, like kind of like watercolor. It looked like watercolor to me, but I love all the angles too and the different camera uses. We had the, the Dutch angle and the low frame shots. And then we also had slow motion whenever she got defeated. So that was really cool. Like it was high quality slow motion. So that was really nice. I love the whole thing and their outfits. She popped off in the outfits in this one 
and it just looks really good very good for the the era that she's trying to go for i'm guessing like very roman times and it looks just overall pretty just pretty overall you know and i'm excited to see what her new songs are i seen that there's a bunch of snippets that she has i feel like i should go listen to her her snippets i just haven't really listened to them mostly because i like to have her music specifically like blind um, I don't know why. I just love having all of her songs completely blind for whenever she does release them. Because she has a lot of snippets that are out there. I think, I don't know if those snippets got leaked. I don't think they got leaked. I think they're from her TikToks that she posts. But I don't really have TikToks. Um, I just, I don't have TikTok the app. Not TikToks. I have TikToks, obviously. But I basically just download TikTok to post and then I just delete it instantly. I literally don't wait for like any interaction. I literally just download TikTok because what happened was I needed space for my big film. I'm making a whole full length film. So I needed space on my phone for that. So, you know, I had to delete TikTok. And also I just didn't really care for TikTok. So I just downloaded TikTok occasionally to post something or multiple things and then delete it again. So, but you know, I'm guessing all of her stuff is probably posted on TikTok that's what i'm guessing but you know i really want to listen to other snippets do y'all think i should listen to her other snippets let me know what you think if i should listen to her other snippets and or if i should just keep it blind like i wanted to so re-watching the music video again i got a whole new perspective i didn't really notice in the beginning but the girl in red she's actually a prisoner in the basement of the royal you know, queen, I'm guessing. And obviously the, the girl with the white gown on her head is actually the wife that sees what's going on. And she wound up defeating her and freeing the person in the basement. So that's great. I'm glad she did that, you know? But I, you know, I got the story now. I don't know quite past that part, but I just know that she wound up freeing her from her shackles. And I guess she kept her there because she was a replacement, as the song says. Now I get it. So the whole actual story is the woman in the white gown is actually marrying the, the queen that we see, which is the orange haired one. And the reason she's marrying her is because she has her ex-fiance basically in the basement, her fiance that got locked up for some reason and she's trying to actually get her to escape. So the only reason she's marrying the orange queen is because she's trying to help her actual wife escape from the basement. So that's the whole story. She was just making a whole ploy. But hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Let me know what you think of this music video. Tell me your thoughts and opinions, and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.